Chilla, and they said uh, they have uh, orders from higher authorities. I don't know what it means. They are not given any reason. They just said that they have been ordered to stop the Tibetans from leaving Majnukti. It came from the government that we are not allowed to go there to play. I think there is a pressure from China government to our Indian government regarding these things. We are sure that the, the biggest democratic uh, nation, India, is reeling under the pressure of Chinese government and following that we are not uh, uh, given permission to even to play a friendly football match. It is tremendously frustrating but yet at the same time we must recognize the great support and other things that the government of India has given to Tibet, you know, which no other country in the world has really. It was the government of India who uh, gave us shelter, the freedom to work in India, and most importantly to preserve our religion, culture, and give the Tibetan youngsters the identity, the Tibetan identity. On the other hand, India continues to say that Tibet is a part of China, and uh, recognizes only one China uh, and that the Dalai Lama and the Tibetans are here only as uh, as foreigners living in India. No, nobody is asking India to get into war for us but at least come out clearly and say Tibet was a free country. Maybe we can't do much about it at the moment but this is clearly an injustice. China should not have done this. And a great deal of this is the fault of the Tibetans for not lobbying hard enough. We don't do that. You know, we should have been lobbying to have our own policy clearly defined, what we want, what we expect our friends to do for us, what we expect our followers to do, supporters to do, you know, and then start lobbying. Uh we are confident and our, our people are uh, talking to the authorities here so that match can go on and we are optimistic and uh, uh, some people you know we are being uh, told that uh, they are discussing possibilities uh, between two stadiums at the moment and we are sure one of them you know we can play there हेलो कोई किसी तरह पे क्या ऑनलाइन हो रहा है उसमें बिना परमिशन के अलाउ कर दो क्या कर दो मैं अभी सुप्रीम कोर्ट जाना है ये परमिशन तो लिया होगा नहीं है ना अच्छा परमिशन लेटर भी तो हो कोई कुछ है ही नहीं नहीं हमारे पास जो पुलिस में परमिशन है पुलिस परमिशन देने वाली होती कौन है पुलिस कौन होती है परमिशन देने ये एमसीडी का वो हुआ है ये पुलिस कैसे परमिशन देते हैं किसकी आप बात कर दीजिए हमारा वो सर मैंने पचास से आदमी से बात कर ली मैं किसकी से बात करूँगा मैं इतने से आदमी नहीं हूँ आप कभी सर से सीधे बात कर लीजिए तो सर नहीं मैं नहीं करूँ कमला मार्केट के चिला कमला नगर मार्केट के चिल रेशा कमला नगर मार्केट के चिल रेशा अब मराठों से पंगे दसे चिल छाप रवा अन्य यह हो तो people want to support people feel for Tibetan cause but then the countries you know compromise a humanitarian issue for trade for business we have a bunch of chicken-hearted leaders who are so scared about their own economic self-interest that they lead us all to believe that so-called engagement with China will bring change. And in fact, what we see is not that we change China, but that China changes us. China weakens our values. China, you know, dilutes our principles of, of business, of conduct with our citizens. What we have to do is accept it and move on. And rather than looking to the UN or to the US or to any one country or group of countries as our saviors, as the people who can give us what we need, we have to look to ourselves to be the ones who demand and take it. And this is between us and China and, and the others will, we need to line them up and line up support in these nations so that one day they will come in when it's politically expedient and help us in whatever way. I'm not saying an invasion of Tibet, I'm saying support in this way or that way and pressuring China, whatever leadership may come there. But for us, we can't, 
we can't sit around whining about it. We need to pick ourselves up, move on and fight. It's a kind of essential Western idea to support the underdog. Sometimes even if you don't understand the issues, you know, and it's a gut reaction. Maybe it's not thought out well, but it's there. So use these things, exploit these. Don't play the victim all the time. You know, Tibetans sometimes do this too much. You know. oh, we are poor refugees. No, just go ahead, do it. Spend your money in a proper direction. Put some effort into these things. I don't know how, how the Tibetan issue will be taken by the international uh, community. It is difficult to say these days, you know, as and more and more you understand the politics of the world, you, you get more and more scared. <laughs> so ignorance is a bliss, as we say, that is off the record. <laughs>